Hello everyone! Welcome back to Broncos Franchise. We're 5-3! and three. I love seeing that. And we're on top of the division. Again, it's still looking ugly this year. The Jets are also 5-3. and three. Somehow, even though they're led by Kellen Clemens, and he's gonna go deep! That was actually a pretty good throw. A little off target, but... Third down already, and that was some good pressure, but they have wide open Kevin Walter. Carl Pema, you cannot be burnt by Kevin Walter. Good stop there by DJ Williams, brings us to another third down along. Helen Clemens can get pressured by Terrell Sands, does find Cotchery, but they are outside field goal range, so they'd have to punt it back. So, what can we do on our first position? We're going to find Solomon Jordan with a good gain, let's go. Vinny Bryant now, he's getting the start this week, I am tired of seeing Raymond Ingram fumble so much. Chris Miller rolling out. He's still rolling, and this was a super dangerous throw, but Chris Miller made it. Randall Hollings on the receiving end, and Vinny Bryant, look at him go, another five yards. Third and five now, Chris Miller scrambling out of the pocket, and we get clotheslined. No one open on that play, that was some good defense, and that was some good defense by us, an immediate three and out, Jarvis Moss with the sack, and... Should have waited for that block to develop, it did not. So a second and seven now, and Vinny Bray is going to get some good blocking. First down, Broncos. Chris Miller now. What can he do? He's going to roll out, and that was another dangerous pass. We are dangerous here in Denver, and that was not a good throw. But we're going to go for it. Fourth and three, and Chris Miller has a lane, but he's going to throw it instead. Siobhan Pearson with the catch. Oh, we probably should have ran that, but we did not, but it worked out for us as Vinny Bryant with another couple yards. And this game's going quite long, and look at this! The Raph playing perfect defense. Someone signed him to a contract already. So, after just have 12 players on the field, we have to sell for three. Matt Prayer's kick is up and good, and Terrell Sands! Let's go! Terrell Sands has kicked into another gear last couple weeks as Malcolm Floyd's gonna get a catch. Representing Wyoming, as Washington, all the space in the world, oh my goodness. First and ten for the Jets, and they're marching it a little bit, but a sack there by Ola Sumerville. And they're gonna run it, and that is gonna have a good gain right there. So third and five now, it's intercepted! Dominique Foxworth to the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown Broncos! And we are up 10 to nothing now. So they give it back to Leon Washington, who gets stopped in backfield by Ian Gold. Third and 10 now. Kelly Clemens all day in the pocket. He's going to go deep, and that probably should have been caught or intercepted. But it wasn't either, so give us the ball back. And Chris Miller's going to roll out. And look at that stiff arm. He gets crushed, though. But hey, you got to get your stiff arms in when you can. I didn't read that lane correctly, and there was clipping anyways, so... Bring it back to a second and 19, and I couldn't even react to what happened there. Pressure came so fast, so it's a third and forever, and we're going deep to Brandon Jones, who catches it! But he is short. Didn't like our odds at that field position, so we would punt it back, and... Three minutes left in the second quarter, Kellen Clemens... All day in the pocket, and what a dot there to Jericho Cotchery. Unbelievable. First and ten now. Callan Clemens is going to go deep to Kevin Walter, who catches it! Carl Pema gets roasted by Kevin Walter again, are you kidding me? Leon Washington almost with a touchdown, but bring it to a third and goal, and he does find Cotchery somehow. How is that not an interception, Foxworth? 10-7 now. Our offense really hasn't clicked yet. Second and eight. Vinny Bryant, though, he has a lot of room. Great block there by Solomon Jordan. Gonna get us to the 45-yard line. First and ten now. Terrell Smith can get a couple. So, what can we do on second and seven? We're gonna hand it to Raymond Ingram. His first carry of the game's gonna... Hey, good yardage and no fumbles. That's all we ask. You need to do it more, but... That was not the best throw ever, and we'd have to punt it right back. So, Leon Washington, staring out the back of his end zone after a good punt. Second and six, and he's going to get a first down, so we can't take advantage of that great punt. Second and seven, they're just going to keep handing it off, and it, Leon Washington, 
GPS tracking is off. You need to go forward, but he does not. And that should have been the first down, but it was not again. So we get the ball back, and that was a bad throw. Wide open, Jordan. You need to hit that Chris Miller. And again, we need to let that block develop. So a third down now. And we're going to go deep to Pearson, who dropped it. Oh, what a miserable drive that was. We had three good opportunities to make a play, and we did not. And look at this! Kellen Clemens pulling a rabbit out of his butt and <laughs> making some good yards there. But Terrell Sands with another sack. That's the second of the game. I think he had one coming in this week, and there's some good coverage right there, and the Jets have to punt it right back. So... A lot of offense in this game, as Vinny Bryant's going to get a good gain on first down, and Raymond Ingram's going to finish it off on third down. First and ten now, we're going to play action, and we're going to find Terrell Smith out of the backfield. Doesn't quite get the stiff arm, but still has the first down. First and ten now, Raymond Ingram, again, didn't fumble it. That's what I like to see. Two yards is awful, but, and this was also awful. Victor Hobson with the interception. We need to get that ball out a little quicker. I still think it was completable, but Chris Miller didn't make the right pass there, and Champ Bailey misses the interception. Oh my goodness, Champ. What are you doing? So we're in the fourth quarter now. Leon Washington going to continue to march down. They got a first down. Again, this is only a three-point game. Come on, Broncos. That's Travis Henry, the former Bronco, going to get some good yardage. Third and three now. Kellen Clemens is going to get sacked. Troy Malecki brings him down. They'll have to sell for three, and this game is tied. So, 10-10. to 10. We do not want to drop this game to the Jets, and that's not a good start to the drive. Second and 12 now. We're going to go to Hollings, and what a throw. Hollings is too tall. Chris Miller now. He's going to go to Crumpler, and what a catch! Oh my goodness, that was a tight window right there, and he got it in there. And again, we're just not reading the running lanes correctly. Second and six now, Chris Miller rolling out. He's going to find Pearson, except he won't because he was blanketed. Not sure why we made that throw, but Pearson there comes up with a huge catch. Let's go. So Raymond Ingram's going to get slapped down by Jonathan Vilma. So... Chris Miller now rolling out, and look at him, he's doing it all by himself. Two minutes left, we're in bleeding clock, and Algie Crumpler's wide open! Touchdown, Broncos! And we are up 17-10 to now, with just over two minutes left. There's not been a lot to get excited about, but Champ Bailey again! Oh, we might have a Champ Bailey problem. Luckily, there's holding, but oh my goodness, two interceptions that went right through his hands. So, Jets in a two-minute drill now, second and 12. Kellen Clemens holding it all day, finally finds his fullback. But there's holding again. So, wasted all that time for a third and 21. Kellen Clemens is not going to get it. So, we have to go to a fourth down. Come on, defense, hold up. And the defense, in fact, does. Great job, Broncos. We even need a first down in this game. Gonna get five on first down. On second down, we're gonna have Vinny Bryant's gonna fumble it! Luckily picked up, but Vinny Bryant, do not do that again. We do not get it on third down. So Matt Prater has to come out and kick it up and good. 20 to 10 now, and... Jets need to score in a hurry, and Justin Miller is loose! Oh my gosh, without that hesitation, that might have been a touchdown, but they are up to midfield already. Kellen Clemens is going to get sacked by Jarvis Moss. Another multi-sack game for him. Kellen Clemens is now going to go, and he's going to find Walter. That looked like a catch to me. They do not review it, so up to a 4th and 16 now. And how is that caught? Why is Kevin Walter doing this to us right now? First and ten, Kellen Clemens is going to roll right into a sack. And they wouldn't even snap it again, so... Jets raise the right flag, we'll take it. Broncos move up to six and three this year. Firm lead in the division, that does not look very good, but... Things can happen, we need to keep our foot on the gas and... This, you know, I'm just going to say it, our defense absolutely carried us this game.
Look at all these sacks. Terrell Sands and Jarvis Moss, both with sacks today. Malecki, Doomerville, and Rodway all getting in on the action. And that pick six really turned the game. Dominique Foxworth. And, yeah, we only got one offensive touchdown. It was not looking very pretty for offense. And we'll need to show up next week against the Raiders, who... I, Edwin Gross is a good little quarterback, so we need to bring our A game against a division rival, and I hope to see you guys there, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.